Russian banks began to lose their VIP clients, according to analysts from the Russian agency Frank RG. More than 1 trillion rubles have been withdrawn from bank accounts. If earlier there were 8.7 trillion in the accounts, then at the moment the amount is 7.5 trillion rubles. The total number of clients with assets of more than 4 million rubles has decreased by almost 10% over the past six months alone. The average amount of funds placed on the accounts of VIP users has also decreased. Since the beginning of the year, this figure has fallen by more than 20%, amounting to 1.8 million rubles, as opposed to the previously available 2.2 million from the Moscow Times publication. Vitaly Vavlyshuk, former head of a department at the National Bank of Ukraine, explains that Western sanctions set back the Russian financial system by many years. They launched a process of rapid managed bankruptcy and curtailment of the activities of subsidiaries of Russian state-owned banks in Europe. Sberbank lost its network of subsidiary banks in Central and Eastern Europe, which it owned through a holding company in Austria. WTB also lost its holding company in Germany, which previously operated in Europe. The European market was also closed for the investment divisions of these banks. Therefore, today the foreign presence of Russian state-owned banks remains only in a few CIS countries. However, even there they basically do not play a significant role. Vitaly Vavrischuk, head of macroeconomic research department, ICU Group, in the article European Truth. Thus, the profit of the largest Russian Sberbank fell by 95% for 10 months of this year and amounted to 50 billion rubles. According to German Gref, director of the board of the bank, the figure was about 20 times higher for the same period last year. He noted that there were no signs of an end to the crisis caused by the war in Ukraine and its economic consequences. Do we see any signs of the end of the crisis? I said it is not visible for one simple reason. The end always comes imperceptibly and as a rule from behind. Therefore, we do not see it. But life has become much brighter, more colorful, more interesting. And it looks like it will be even more interesting in the coming years. German Graf, head of Sperbank of Russia at the Forum of Innovative Financial Technologies, Finopolis. With the help of sanctions, the US and the EU froze the assets of Russian banks, which could later be confiscated. Only in the UK in the amount of more than 20 billion US dollars. Moreover, abroad, clients of Russian banks cannot manage personal funds on their own accounts. Back in the spring, MasterCard and Visa closed this opportunity. The Kremlin tried to find a way out of the situation with the help of the Mir payment system. However, the United States is actively blocking the use of this card. Banks in Kyrgyzstan, Vietnam, Armenia, Kazakhstan, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka stopped working with the Mir card. Turkey also refused to use Russian cards after the US Treasury warned about the application of secondary sanctions. Any individuals or entities providing material support to U.S.-designed persons are themselves at risk of U.S. sanctions. Please be advised that relationships with sanctioned Russian actors may expose Turkish financial institutions and businesses to sanctions risk. Wally Adeyemo, U.S. Deputy Secretary of the Treasury, in a letter to Turkish business associations. Also, more than two-thirds of Russian banks are cut off from the SWIFT international payment system, including the two largest banks in Russia, Sberbank and VTB. This means that any international payments and transactions in dollars, euros or pounds sterling through these banks are not possible today. In order for a Russian business to make a payment abroad in dollars or euros, it is necessary to open an account in one of the banks that have not yet been cut off from SWIFT. There are still enough of them in Russia, but these are much smaller banks. The EU and the US decided to leave them in SWIFT since they are used to make payments for energy carriers. Naturally, for payments in currencies of friendly states of Russia, other SWIFT systems for exchanging payment orders are used. However, looking for workarounds for payments in euros, dollars or pounds is a hopeless business. Here, the accomplices will immediately be threatened with secondary sanctions. Vitaly Vavrischuk, head of macroeconomic research department, ICU Group, in the article European Truth.
Earlier, Elvira Nabiulina, head of the Central Bank of Russia, announced an improvement in the forecasts for the Russian economy, but stressed that it was too early to say that the crisis is coming to an end. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Victoria Sinko, UATV News.